Hi everybody, Lady Badger here. I hope you're all staying crazy. Well, my dogs are going for it again, so if you've watched any of my videos, well, they were quiet once, once, and only once, and that was last time, and that's because they were sleeping. Now the neighbors have their dogs out in their yard, so, you know, it's mass chaos. Um, I found some more things. Not too much more has gone on in the house. I've been doing so much overtime. I was lucky to get today off. It shocked me. Um, I was able to do that. And I was able to get everybody's goodies out in the mail, um, including yours, Linda. I, I cleaned yours up. And on the inside, because there were some pin marks. I know you didn't care. But I got most of it. And I'm pretty happy with it. So that went out this morning, too. So sorry in the delay. Um, I want to show you what I have found. I found some more totes. Um, I done a little thrifting, not a lot. I haven't had a lot of time. I went out a little bit this morning. I found some things I forgot even had. I mean, I have the Trisha Nash little coin purse. I don't know if you guys remember this. I found, I found it in another tote and it had a $20 bill in it. <laughs> I already spent it. I put it in gas in my car. So those of you who don't know me, um, I did speak to PayPal and last time, uh, I was having issues with the invoice feature. Apparently that is worldwide. So I am on this huge long list of things, uh, of people that it's affecting. So make sure if you don't know me and you're interested in something, make sure when I send you the request that you hit uh, goods and services and you'll still have all the benefits and all the protections of what you would get with it with the invoice so there's a lot of buyer protection uh, and a lot of seller protection um, anybody else who knows me trust level is there you can send it any way you want to but yeah I found that with money in it that was wow that made me so very happy I also found <laughs> Found my old uh, Antonio Milani wallet. Beautiful. So, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of those yet. They're not in today's sale. Look at pretty. So, a little card thing in there. So, found that. So, I've been finding goodies everywhere. Some things I wanted to show you. Um, I did find this morning these Coach Connoisseurs. I'm surrounded by bags. Found this this morning. They had it hanging in a Habitat for Humanity. They usually don't have bags. It's got some water damage there. I'm gonna do what I can do. I love it. it the leather is just big and thick, but it's 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 dirty. It's dirty. So we're gonna clean it up. And you know what's old? That lining. So, this bag is a 19132. So, yeah, so, you know this baby is older. But, it needs a little love. She's beautiful. Um, but, yeah. I haven't done any research on it or anything like that yet. But, I don't know if I'm just going to color refresh it or, you know, try to... I'm not sure what do I do with it yet but I scored this this morning beautiful not a factory outlet bag so beautiful big thick leather so but right now she has her issues I mean it's not real bad but you know like right there yeah so there. Oh, people were trying to call, you know. I haven't heard from anybody all day long. And then, you know, when I'm trying to record, it's got some dirtiness or something going on here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to try to fix this bag. <laughs> I love it, though. It's really nice. A little small for me, but, I mean, great handbag for grab and go. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. I found that. So, oh, also, my t-shirt of the day. I came, I saw, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So, I like my 
my little t-shirts that are all all snarky and yeah so the first time I'm going to show you I've got some clearance things I got some cheaper items so the don't forget um those of you who are new here, um, the price that I give you is the price includes shipping, handling, and any other crap in between. Um, if I tell you something is $30, then that's all you pay, and that's what it's going to cost to get to your door. No other hidden fees. You know what you're in for. You know what you're paying. Done deal. So, the first one is the clearance bag. It's the Dooney. I previously sold this Dooney. Um... I have lots of Dooney totes. When I showed the other Dooney tote, I thought it, I, I didn't check it out. I had the wrong one. I actually had the brown chocolate Dooney tote that had marker and pin stuff in it, and a lady bought it. Um, I clearly got a hold of her and told her, ooh, 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 you know, this bag has issues. So I am going to clearance it today. So, if she's still interested at the clearance price, you know, because she's got a credit, then I will let her have it for the clearance price. But this is the Dooney tote. It's beautiful on the outside. We don't have any wear. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, we're clearancing it out for $40. Um, but... It still smells like my cleaner. But what I didn't disclose, because I had the wrong bag, is I got a ton of it. It had some serious marker stuff going on in there. Um, yeah, it smells a little bit like cleaner now. Because I've been whacking at it every day and having it hang to dry. And I've come resolved myself to the fact that I'm not going to get it all. But I got a majority of it. So, and I don't think, this is not pen. I do believe this looks like it's Sharpie marker down there. Somebody threw a marker in there. A Sharpie marker. And the pen must, the, the cap must have come off. Because it was, at one point, a, it was a hot mess. I mean, it was worse than what it is now. But there... Come on, man. Right there. I know to some people that doesn't seem like a big deal, but I pride myself on not selling handbags without disclosing these things. I like to do the as is. Now, it gets better. It's on the other side of the bag. Again, I know it was only priced at $55, but it wasn't disclosed because it's the wrong tote. See, I cannot get it out. It's got to, it's not ink. So I'm assuming that's Sharpie marker. But we have the two open pockets, the zipper pockets. It's a big tote. This is not a small one. Um, it is, you know, if you don't care, if you want something to kick around, there you go. Nice leather dooney. Um, this is for you then. And me and these things, we fight. We fight so much. We fight. <laughs> it is beautiful. I mean, nobody can see the inside of the bag. But, still. $40 clearance. And it's going to come to you. It is a gorgeous tote. Not going to lie. But, yeah, somebody had a marker party in, on the inside. So, nobody's going to see in it, though. We might as well grab a bargain while you can't. All right. That looked a little funky on camera. So, wait, sir. So, there you go. So, have at that. This next one was one of a badger bag. And it's got one of my charms on it. But it is now, I've kind of outgrown it. This is a beautiful. Look at my little charms. So I put my hearing aids in there when I was using it. So I put all the stuffing and stuff back in there. Um, the color block is pretty. This is a Madewell handbag in a color block. 
beautiful thick leather. It's got a magnetic opener. It does have the crossbody down in there. Also has a, a like a dusty bag type thing that's that I will put it in. But it does have a crossbody. Beautiful little crossbody. This is a neat bag. It's just not quite big enough. And I would so keep it. But I, you know, with these little bags. You know, I find, I don't know what it is, but if it's a little bag and it's jam-packed, then it's not very, you know, user friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're moving a hundred things. You're pulling stuff. If you're pulling stuff out to get to whatever it is you need to get to, it's a pain in the booty. So, I will leave the charm on there if you like it. I got a thousand other charms, you know, but... I just left it on there because I had it on there. But it is beautiful, made well. Let's see, try to get it to where you can see the light. So it is gorgeous inside and out. It is unlined. And it's got. I go have oh, I just need to kind of. It's got some dust bunnies in there. Those are free. I tell you guys that all the time. <laughs> But beautiful, beautiful leather. Cool bag. Got your crossbody. Got the cool little matching charm if you want it. Um, so I hate, to, I hate to let it go. Because if any of you have, you know, in the last year, have spoke to me, especially people in the Discord, y'all know me. I love my maid well. But... I'm not gravitating towards this one. Because, I mean, if y'all seen my... Y'all saw my wallet, right? <laughs> so, but there you go. And I have a ton of Madewell. So, I can take the charm off. No big deal. You might as well take a freebie, right? You might as well. So, I am asking... This is in beautiful condition... It will patina. It will scratch. It is the soft, smooth leather. But it is cool. And I will let this go for $65. Grab a bargain. She's in beautiful shape. That is a cool, beautiful bag. You will love that. I promise you that. So $65, and she is yours. Now, I was... At the store, and it's the same store, the Habitat store. And I walk in, and I'm kind of looking around because I was looking for some more dishes and, you know, what you would go to a Habitat store for. I'm looking for, like, a baker's rack or a cabinet or something to put into my kitchen because you've all seen that's a hot mess. Um, and something bright and flashy catches my eye which is funny because I'm blind in my right eye <laughs> so and I couldn't believe what I was looking at it I, I am we all know Patricia Nash Dooney and Burke I'm all about it so uh, this is a rare bag and it is an acquired taste it is the chat a letter on the bottom Leather on the bottom, saddle leather on the top. They're very rare. Um, I If you check global eBay, you're only going to find two. And they're wanting $225 for pretty much the same condition. It, it needs, uh, you know, a refresh. But then again, it might not. It looks, it's loud. It's proud. It's in your face. And it's rare. And to find one of these, you're going to pay up if you find them at all. It's a Dooney and Burke. It is the rare Bolero Southwestern Saddle. Check this out. It's got a dark spot right there. It's got yellow whip stitch. <laughs> Teal. There's one exactly like it on eBay. They want $225. Well, no, that one's sold. And then there's one that's got the black and the brown. It's not as fun. 
Um, it's not as a, you know, in as good a shape. Um, that's also listed for two twenty five. <laughs> wow. It is authentic. <laughs> so I don't have a crossbody strap for it. It's vintage. I don't have a crossbody strap for it, but I'm fairly certain the sky's the limit in finding one that'll work just fine with it. This is not a, it's a me, I would say medium to a large tote. Um, where did I put my tape measure? Let's see. I had to go and find it. Sorry, I had to pause you. Dogs are going bananas, like way too bananas. And I bought a tape measure that's perfect purse size. And every time I want to use it, it eludes me. It's gone. Every, every time. Oh, man. Issues. Tell you. Issues. So, so this bag. Me and this thing have a long love-hate relationship. So we're going to go whip stitch to whip stitch is 12. I want to say by 11 and a half, 12. Let's see. And then your depth, I'd say about a five. The distance looks cool. <laughs> this bag is unreal. It is off the charts. I'm not even kidding. I paid up a little bit for this, but I, I didn't mind um, because, yeah. So we've got right off the bat, I'll try to get that off of there, a little pen mark right off the bat. And, that, and it takes a lot. I stuffed it to the gills. So it's got one of the old school, look at that, the blue, that's for your, supposed to be for your cell phone. Look how small that is. Whose cell phone would fit in that? There is your, and it's got the real thick fabric inside, from Dooney and Burke. And here, it's got the key thingamajig. And right here, we have your, eh, Dooney and Burke tag. There you go. She is authentic. <laughs> this bag is cool. I mean, it'd be something cool for your collection, especially for you avid Dooney collectors. How many avid Dooney collectors have this bad boy? Couldn't believe it. I, I, I looked, I looked again, and I just stood there like looking like an idiot for a minute because I was like, I couldn't believe what I was actually looking at, you know? So you just don't see these. People tend to hold on to these bad boys. So here it is. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. I could have, well, I could have stuffed it a bit more. But you can rock this baby. <laughs> and it, you know, it, it's expensive, you know, but this would be a fun, fun bag, say, like a, you know, if you wanted to use it for like a diaper bag or, you know, yeah. Yeah. Maybe for the spring. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. This is super fun. Super, super fun. You know, if, if somebody is interested in this and they want a crossbody, um, I think all of my solid crossbodies are probably black or whatever, but I can order one. <laughs> Dang it. And I have. Let's see if I can find one. <laughs> this is really busy. Busy, busy, busy. So this is the rare Dooney and Burt Bolero Southwestern Saddlebag. You're not going to find them online for less than $225. You can get it from me. For one fifty, that is a deal. 
Hey, the way the Dooney and Burks are going now, that's a deal for any kind of Dooney and Burke now, let alone a rare one that you're not going to be able to, you know, to just find on any store shelf. You're not going to find it. Next, I found this bag, which I thought was cool, the Birkin style. This is a leather bag, floral emboss. Love the Birkin style. Look at that. It's got a long, long, it just fits so nice. Long strap drop. It's a really cool bag. Now, this is just decorative. These don't come up or anything like that. So, just decoration. So, this is a bigger bag as well, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're looking at 13 and a half by 10. And then you drop it. This will hold a ton. I had to stuff it to the gills. I mean, it holds a absolute ton. Five and a half depth. Isn't this cool? Now, this is from brand. It's not really a high-end brand, but it's genuine leather. This is Max New York. M-A-X-X -X New York. And just excellent, excellent condition. I can't believe all oh, the stuff in here. I got a box here. <laughs> Good grief. So, and you know me, I'm gonna pull this out if I can if I can get them out. So this is Max New York. You got a zipper pocket, an open pocket. And the other side has two rougey pockets. Very nice. It is very nice. Very clean. I just love the Birkin style. And I like the, how the strap drop on it is longer. So it fits very nice. It has a back pocket. Big back pocket. I like the feetsies. It's got some nice significant feet. I don't see any wear on it. Now this bag has a tag in here. Because I checked to make sure it said leather. Because I won't spend money on it if it's not. So, we have body. 100% flower embossed leather. And the lining is polyester. So, Max New York. Not Like I said, not a, lot, not a real high-end brand. Not a high-end brand by no means. But, hey. A leather embossed bag. I'm only asking 50 bucks. We're going to get a real pretty bag like that. Ship to your door for 50 bucks. Leather. Yeah, it says leather. Yeah. Well, that's what the tag says. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous bag. I think you will love it. Somebody will rock this gorgeous thing. It's got snappies on the side where you can snap down the zipper so they're not flopping all over. But yeah. Yeah. Beautiful bag. $50 and it's yours. Wasn't that cool? That was a really pretty bag. I'm only, you know, with... It just it says embossed leather. I'm not real familiar with Max uh, with Max bags, but this this is pretty. Fifty dollars. It doesn't sell. Well, that's okay because I like embossed leather. You think? So somebody will love that. That is beautiful. Fifty dollars. Next, I was really excited. I love, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Ferenzi leathers, the Italian leathers. I actually found 
A Firenze leather bag. Alright, brother. It's made in Italy. It's big. It's thick. It's beautiful. I love the long strap drop. It is a beautiful tote. It's going to scratch. It's going to patina. Look, it's already starting. And, it's, and you know, we got a, some scratching on the bottom. We got feet. Um, but it's starting, you know, to patina. And it's just so pretty. A big, thick, scrumptious leather. I love Italian leather. I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. Yeah, it is quality from the inside out. Classic style. We all love this. This is a bigger bag, too. Bigger bag, bigger bag. This bag, oh, it's beautiful. 15 <laughs> by 11. And then your depth is six. So you are going to get a ton. We have a back pocket. Beautiful bag. Somebody's going to love this. You know, look at all the stuff I got in here. Holy crap. I just kept adding stuffing, adding stuffing, adding stuffing. On the other side so you have two open pockets on one side the other side has your zipper pocket the tag says genuine leather made in Italy the fabric is beautiful it says Firenze made in Italy these are expensive Wow I was a little shocked I just, you know, the, the look and the quality of the leather, I couldn't, I couldn't leave it behind. It is amazing. It's got two sides. There you go. And then a big old zipper middle. It's like an antique brass looking hardware. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Love it. There you go. This is genuine Italian leather. It doesn't get any more better than this. I tell you, it doesn't get any better than that. That is quality. I guarantee you will love this bag. You know, it, I mean, with even with like right there, you see around there. Even with like the rubbing, and, and it's going to do that. It's going to patina, it's going to rub, it's going to scratch. It's doing it beautifully. I mean, beautifully. It just adds to the character of it. I don't even care. I mean, wow. So this is a gorgeous bag. Somebody is in for an absolute treat. The Firenze Italian bag. And did you know Firenze is actually a place in Italy? So they made a Firenze Italian bag. They're online for $149 to $160 for the basic, for like regular Joe Schmo handbag. The tote styles, I'm not real sure. I didn't really see another tote style like this. I did not find one similar looking to this, but they're $149 to $160. I'm only asking $65. This is new. This would be new to some of my customers. But I have so many totes. I'm going to let it go for 65 Hey, you have the resellers. You could pick that up and you could probably sell it for 160 to 200 bucks. You know, there you go. But that is absolute just gorgeousness. I also found this week. The Amy Kessenberg phone bag. This is in the rose gold metallic. Cute. Cute.
cuteness galore. Cute, cute, cute. Big old long crossbody strap. Big old. <laughs> so the inside is very nice. It has one, two, three, four slip pockets. Very clean. Amy Kessenberg. She doesn't get the recognition she deserves. Beautiful leather. Rose gold. So if you're needing a phone bag and you like rose gold, you want the metallic stuff, 30 bucks. And I will send that to your door. I also have another bag that I am selling on a clearance as is. This is the Hampton. I didn't stuff it because I ran out of stuffing. <laughs> but this is the Coach Hampton. Gorgeous on the inside. We have the 10412. It has the sides. Now this one, I think I showed it before. It had color transfer all over the front. It was a hot mess. I was able to clean it up. You can barely, barely see it now. Right there. See him? Right there, right there. You can barely see it now. You have to actually be looking for it. So I was able to clean it up nicely. So I need room. There you go. Coach Leatherwheel. Got your hang tag. The straps are, well, the handles are adjustable. This is a cute little bag. This is the Hampton. And I am letting it go for 40 bucks. Reason why I'm letting it go is you can still kind of see it a little bit. I know you got to be looking for it, but you can still kind of see it. So I know it's there. <laughs> but you can get yourself a beautiful coach tote for 40 bucks. Next, I like this is a vintage fossil. Classic. I love the silhouette of this one. This is. Got a really long crossbody. It fits real nice. Classic style. Fossil. Beautiful, beautiful on the outside. The leather is gorgeous and thick. So this back part, some people might even say it's a wallet. You got look at all the slip pockets. It's like a wallet with your crossbody. Fossil does that with some of their crossbodies. You've got the zipper pocket on the side. A lot of card slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a place for your your uh, driver's license. Gorgeous in there. The leather is just thick, scrumptious, and shiny. You have a pocket on the other side. There's both sides out there. Isn't that neat? has a zipper pocket on the back one in the main compartment and it's clean and beautiful in there classic so the vintage coach or vintage coach oh, issues in my brain the vintage fossil is only 30 bucks and it comes to your house the next vintage I have is a cute bag. <laughs> this here, I don't know what that is, but this is why this is only 30 bucks. I can probably try to get it off. I don't know if that's paint or what that is. If you guys want me to try to get it off, I will. It is still a vintage can of coal. Genuine leather. I do have some stuff to take that off, and I will, if you want me to, just let me know. Now, this bag, the clearance bag, is only $25. So, let me know if you want to try to get that off. I have a zipper pocket here. We have the old school phone pouch. Kenneth Cole, New York. Super clean. Probably hard to see here in the, in the dark. And it's black. It's got dust bunnies and a little bit of glitter. I'll get that out. 
<laughs> I don't know what the glitter is. I don't know, but we'll get rid of it. A little zipper pocket here. Big, thick leather. So, as is, it's 25 bucks. It's a cool silhouette. I like it. If you want me to try to get that off the bottom, I absolutely will. And it's got a mirror. It's got a little mirror. If you want to you know, see your lips or something or your eyeball or whatever. It's got a little mirror hang tag on it. But a vintage Kenneth Cole. Genuine leather. It's a nice bag. It really is. It's got the beatsies. So I'm not sure what that is on the bottom. But I, I will give it a go. But I'm selling it as is for 25 bucks. You know. Clearance, clearance. I need the room. So. She's all yours. Oh, I found a little wristlet. It's cute. And. When I looked it up. It's spent it. <laughs> it's got the. Jenna leather. Isn't this cute? This cute little wristlet. Leather. It does have, it's got like little, oh, like little dots or something on there. It's not hurting anything, but I mean, it's there. Brand new. So that's probably why it didn't sell. Now this is from a brand. There you go. See if I can say it. Caval, Caval, Cavalcanti, Cavalcanti, genuine leather, made in Italy. It's got a little Italian thing there, but this is cute. It really, really is. So, yeah. Mm. So it's genuine leather. I'm saying it's like a coated canvas and leather. Not entirely sure, but it's got. Heavier brass tone hardware. Leather is real. This is a cute, cute little wristlet. I looked these up online for, for this maker. Apparently it's a thing. I never, never really heard of it before. But I'm asking 30 for this. If you're going to go and get it online, you're going to pay double that. So if you're looking for a cute little wristlet, genuine leather. Italian stiff. There you go. 30 bucks, I'll send that to your door. I have another vintage. Cool. Like tube style bag. That's cool. It's cool. I remember when these were popular when I was a little girl. This like the, the two wheeler. The leather is lovely. No issues on the outside. You saw that. But I want to show you the inside. Just tickle pick. I love it. <laughs> Look at the inside, baby. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So we have a vintage Preston and York. I love it. It's cool. It's cool. I wish I had a shirt that looked like that. I would rock it. I'm telling you. I ain't right. I would rock it. You guys should see this one shirt that I did get. It's pretty out there, dude. It's called y'all dudes. Yeah. yeah, loser. So, it's got a zipper pocket, and that's it. It's in a tubular. Person in New York. I believe it or not. I've never heard of him. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm easily amused. I'm a simple chick. Yeah. Hey, you know, have you guys noticed? I look a little bit more human. I actually got some sleep. And I put, I'm not kidding, an insane amount of coconut oil in this hair just to be able to wear it down. Because I'm sure you guys are all tired of looking at me, looking like I, uh, I don't know, just rolled out of bed. Sometimes I was. <laughs> but, you know... Just to bring you guys some purses and things like that. So I'm actually feeling a little human today. Just a little. So I have to return to work tomorrow. 
So, anything that you guys purchased today, you know, I actually have talked my son into dropping off packages. So, it, it'll go out on Monday, anything that you'd like. I do offer payment plans for you lovely, lovely ladies and gents that are just joining. If you like what I'm throwing out there, please hit the thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. And you know, because when the overtime and that slows down and what have you, and we get to moving on here, you're going to get a whole lot more content and it's going to be a whole lot more fun. You're going to really, um, you know, get to know better. Oh, I ran into that other reseller lady. She got mad at me. Because I was, you know, looking at some of these bags, you know, at the Habitat, not there to buy purses. But, you know, I found, you know, some really cool things. And she come up behind me. She snatched a red leather bag. I was, dang, because I was going to get it. She gave me this look. And I waited for her to give me the finger. You know, somebody's like, and they got, you know, arm up. She swung around. So, yeah. She knows who I am now. <laughs> you know, the one that won't ever get out of the way. So. Yeah. I'd be lying to you all if I said that that did not bring me great joy. Because it did. Um, yeah. At the sake of sounding, you know, not mature. But. Screw her, man. You know, I was there first. I get to look. So, there you go. So, she's very angry with me over these bags. I don't even know what they are. But I wasn't going to give them to her because I am 50. Let's lie. I'm 35 going on 12. How's that sound? So, Preston and York, guys. Cool. I love the inside. It doesn't get any more groovy than this, you know. Late 60s, early 70s. Nice. Nice. I will find a shirt. You know, like that. If anybody comes across it, let me know. And Linda, I have so many snarky shirts. Huh. Huh. I'll start going through some of them. All right. Now, since that groovy bag, I'm, you know, I'm easily amused. Mm -hmm. Something shiny. Um, so... Preston in New York was really cool. Only one I get to have today because I got to work today. That'll keep me up. So I'm going to take these off because I found, and I still have, the Rag and Bone Sunnies. So I'm going to put these on sale for 70 bucks. It's 20 bucks cheaper, 20 or 30 bucks cheaper than what I was asking for them before. Leather case, beautiful leather case. Just rag and bone. Oh, it's really just soft and lovely inside there. It comes with, I got a hair on my, oh my goodness. Comes with a nice little, little bag. Look at these, they are so nice. You know, I kind of gave up trying to put this thing back on. I'm sorry, man. I. Nice. They're really, really dark. I can barely see myself. Yeah. They've got the gold. They got the light. Nice. They got lice. The nice nose pieces. So, I got these on sale for 70 guys. Go ahead and grab a bargain. I can't go any lower than that. Nice. And that has really cool detail. I don't know if you guys can see that. But these are some nice sunglasses. I mean, nice. $70. Brand new rag and bones. All yours. So I would grab those guys. 
the other Salvatore Ferragamos. Gene called them. So, Gene called them. So, yep. Yeah. Those will go to Gene. I'm running out of sunnies. I don't come across them very often. Um, you know, I did have a supplier for my Ferragamos. But I'm very, we all know I'm partial to my Ferragamos. I got yeah. But I did show you guys these before. I still have the Pradas. Box. That's me. I wrapped them in here. It's got, it's the cleaner and the little Prada thing all wrapped up. And I didn't want, I didn't want to unwrap it. So... I got a really soft little bag thing, and I put, that's me doing that, and then wrapping it 50 times, <laughs> and then I dropped them on the floor. What's that? You guys, I'm a giant Dorcas. Here we go. Black Radiant Square. So I still have these guys. I love how they got the nose pieces. They feel so good. Ooh la la. Ooh. You know, you can put these on. You can walk around, go shopping or whatever, and just poke your nose up. I got Prada sunglasses on, just poke it. Stick your nose up to everybody else. Back away, little people! <laughs> or knock other resellers out of the way. <laughs> However you want to handle it, it's fine. It's all badger approved. <laughs> I only encourage your bad behavior, guys. Do not listen to me. Right. There we go. My dogs are actually kind of being hay for the time being, which is amazing. I hope you can see the serial numbers. A good shot of that if you want to look them up. One more time. Ooh, la, la. I love them. They're oversized and they're squares and they're not my Ferragamo. So I know Pradas are better. I know, but not to me. So, you know, I would love to show you guys the ones I'm in love with. My babies. My babies. You guys didn't get a good bird's eye view of my butt, did you? There you go. These are my babies. I know they're not Pradas. Oh no, these are not my babies. These are Jean's babies. Jean, here's your babies. Dang, issues. Okay. That's my shot, my babies. Ziggy Dog says hi everybody. He's at the back door wagging his tail. He's like. <laughs> so, I do have sad news, guys. Klausy dog. It's getting dangerously aggressive. Um, I, I'm taking him to the vet um, to see if, if everything's all right with him. Um, I may have to put Klaus down, the big German Shepherd. I'm not looking forward to that at all. So, sad times. These are my babies. I don't know what it is about these. Oh. These are the badger glasses. Oh. Yes. Yes. So. So now you can see why. You know. The products are great. And I'm happy to keep them guys. But they're on clearance. They're still on clearance for a hundred bucks. I mean, they're sexy. I'm not even gonna lie. They look sexy. But, yeah. I'm just, you know. I don't know. Like with the Ferragamos, they just, they fit my face real nice. I like the nose pieces. These are lighter. The, the Prados are significantly lighter than the Ferragamos. But, yeah. Now they're coming out. Uh, 
with a different style, like different version of these. So you know I'm on it, right? So if you guys like these, if you're interested, when they come out with the new ones, I'll pick up a couple pairs if I can get them at a pretty good price. Are the, these are the bees' knees. Do they look okay? I don't care. Probably look like a big giant fly. Don't care. All right. Now that I'm done raving about my gorgeous Ferragamos, I'm going to put the Pradas away. But a hundred bucks, guys. All yours. <laughs> Now, you can't see it, but way up in the corner, I don't know if you can see, you've got your, it's, it's, it's got like Prada etched in the lens. So, yeah. So, you know that they are authentic. Yeah, these babies are cool. And I've got them in this really soft <laughs> bag, and I'm putting them down in here. I just don't want to unbox, you know, all the Prada goodies. I want you guys to get it. <laughs> so, I'm sexy here. So I just want you guys to get them in the best, best, best pristine possible. So. All right, I'm done. All right, with that. All right, I promise. <laughs> I have, if anybody's interested, this little handbag, little coach handbag. I don't know, it's my wallet. It's the size of my wallet. What am I going to do with this thing? <laughs> but it's cute. Little hand thing. Some people really like these little, bitty small things. Beautiful shape. There you go. Open her up. It's like a olive, whatever in there. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card slots and an open pocket. There's your little, your little tag. Open pocket. It's got made in Vietnam tag in there. It's a cute little bag. Leather handle. Which also, you can use it as a wristlet. Instead of carrying it around, whatever you want to do. You know, wrap it on there. Cute little thing. So I will ship this to you for 35 Alright, somebody came through my front door. I'm sorry I had to pause you for a minute. You were probably sick of me raving about my Ferragamos anyway. But the little coach wristlet, little handbag, little monogram thing, like I said, $35. And it's all yours. I will ship it to you. I also have for $35. This needs, it's beautiful bag. It just needs to go, though. This is from the sack. It's woven. It's got the big, thick leather handles, leather trim. It's really cool. Zipper pull is neat. I did. It's got a tassel. I put a hair tie on there because this thing was crazy. It was like this was that way. This was that way. This, I don't know. This thing was looking crazy. So I put it on there so it could look somewhat normal when you took it off. <laughs> so it's got a cute charm with it. The little charm even says the sack on it. It's really cute. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I put, yeah. So it's put, now it's looking normal because this thing, it was looking a little you know, crazy. So, but I didn't stuff it, but I'll show it to you stuffed. Inside has two Rushi pockets and a zipper pocket. Let me see if I can. Oh, look, fuzzies are free. Fuzzies. Free. What's inside? So it's very clean and gorgeous. Let's see. It's very clean and gorgeous. Zipper pocket. So just from a sack, I have a few of these. I found this one. You know, I promised you guys at least once a week 
We'll go through a tote. I like that. That's cool. Go through a tote. This is what was in there. So I'm going to leave the little hairband on here. It just, it's just kind of protecting the, the leather so it doesn't get all weird and crazy. These little tassels tend to get a little nuts. So you can take it off when you get it. But at least you knowing this way, you're going to get it looking nice. If I don't twist them all up, because that's what I just did. So it'll look nice. Yeah. So this is a cool, cool bag. Now, mind you, it's not as cool as the Bright and Linda got. <laughs> it's not... But maybe this could be a nice summer night bag. If you like these knit things, I've done pretty well with these. But I do have other summery ones. But this one is just cute. Look how cute that is. Nice and slouchy. It's got a big, big zipper pocket front here nice woven like a knit yeah pretty cool so I will leave that on there so it doesn't look all crazy and see <laughs> you get it beautiful sack bag so 35 I would ship it to your door genuine leather accents beautiful bag so 35 and that will come to you nice summer bag or winter is that it's that kind of color you know it's that kind of color so the last couple of bags I have are some of them are better ones so Kirsten if you're watching this you haven't seen this in a hot minute and I haven't had it out it hasn't seen the light of day in a hot minute and it still has the crossbody strap with the um the adjusters on it so we can make it a crossbody um i remember when i purchased this bag god was it last summer not sure but i purchased it with you in mind it's the all saints it's the all saints leather that has the suede front i found it This is the new Tags All Saints. Do you remember this, girl? <laughs> so these are the adjusters that I'm talking about, where you can make a bag a crossbody if it doesn't have a way to do that, so it doesn't damage the bag. See? There. And if you don't like this, I can, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't like this, this one, because it's a bit busy, um, I do have a lot of others, more muted ones. So this is a genuine. Look at that. I love that. That's the top of the strap. Isn't that cute? All Saints, suede front, brand new with tags. This baby retails for $298. It is brand new. Has not seen the light of day in a while. So... I made it a crossbody. So this here opens up. It's all beautiful, soft suede. The whole thing opens up. And inside, it has a dust bag. It says All Saints. Here you go. go. So down inside here, it is unlined. So you have raw suede on this side, raw leather on the other. You have your All Saints tag right there. Oh, maybe if I show you on camera, you know, you might be able to see it. There it is. These unsnap to make more room. So you can make it a bigger bag. So you can actually yeah, make it bigger. Of course, it's new, so it's clean and beautiful down inside there, but it goes all the way down. So it just has the open pocket with all saints. So it does have. Uh, I'm smooshing the bag on a the heck. There's the all saints tag. Another. The, there you go. 
There it is. Absolutely genuine. Beautiful leather bag. This is one gorgeous bag. Let's put. Still has the original stuff in there. I've shown it before, so the packaging doesn't look as pretty, <laughs> as pretty as when I first got it. But I think I only showed it maybe once or twice. magnetic snaps and you can leave it and you can make it make it slouchy because it unsnaps you can make it slouchy or you can fold it over it does snap so you can get the look there you go beautiful brand new as tags all saints bag Retail price, you know, two hundred and ninety-eight dollars. I'm only asking one fifty. Beautiful All Saints bag. They're going online for similar styles. Two twenty-five. We'll have you, and they're pre-owned. Mine is cheaper, and it's brand new. Tech. She's been locked up for a little while. But I let her out. I almost, I, I've forgotten all about her. I almost had a heart attack when I found her in a tote. So there you go. Next has been put away for quite a minute. But for you people that are looking for laptop bags, my Dooney and Burke lovers, we have the executive line, the executive edition. Dooney and Burke has pocket in the back. Look at these feet. This is one giant enormous bag so just to kind of give y'all an idea it is 18 by 12 and a half and it is eight inches deep <laughs> that's a big big bag brand new I took the stuffing out of it so I could find it because it does have all the paperwork and bits and bobs with it. All the bits and bobs. $298 dollars. Order confirmation, all that. Probably TMI, but, you know, I want you to feel confident. So this bad boy has a giant zipper pocket here. A big old open pocket underneath it. And then you have the compartment. If you flip this over, you have one ginormous open pocket again and two open pockets then you have your key holder the inside brand new this has got real thick padding it's like memory foam padding it's nice so it would probably fit and let's measure that too see how big of a laptop or an iPad or whatever you can get in there. So you could slide a up to I would say 13 inch to be safe. 13 to 14. Mine's a 15 so mine isn't going to slide down in there. I had to go to purse curator to get one. This is big, thick, gorgeous Dooney in on itself. The Dooney's are just getting so expensive. 
but this is beautiful and it is brand new so if you're looking for something for your laptop my executives out there looking for a proper executive bag I got you covered this thing is awesome so this is a $300 bag brand new I'm offering it to you for $125 shipped. And it's going to cost me $25 to ship it to you, so I'm really only asking $100 bucks for it. There you go. And I'm taking a loss. I pay a little bit more than that for it. But I do have the one I got from Purse Curator. Um, so I'm not using this. So leave no duty behind, I say. We don't do that. You know, especially... Leave no duty behind. <laughs> the clown purse. Ah! But yeah. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Love it. Also, the Holy Grail. You guys. I uh, walked into a little corner shop. It was last week. Um, and... This lady, she's selling things or what have you. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys this one. 30 bucks. This is an American leather. As is. It's a clearance bag. Big, thick, lovely, lovely. It's got some marks down there in the bottom. I mean, it's a nice bag. American leather. It's going to last forever. And it's gorgeous. Zipper pocket in the back. Needs a clean up. The straps do come off. You can put different straps on it. This one is just a back pocket. Magnetic closures in the front. But look, 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 look what they did. So it's a clearance bag. It's got a zipper part in the middle, the main compartment. There you go. There's your American leather. You've got a zipper pocket and two two open pockets on the side. I was going to say Rushi, but don't say Rushi. So, it's beautiful. It's genuine. <laughs> 30 bucks. Clearance. All yours. Okay. So, now, as I was saying, you know, I, I skip around. I miss things. I can't help it. You know? My brain. Miss that, too. Ah, you know, I have issues. So this bag is still for sale. This is still 65 with the buckle. I showed you guys this one before. This is 65 <coughs> So I won't bore you with that one again. But look, look, look. So you can clearly see what I found. I am having the best luck finding these. This is the Dreamer color block. Isn't that nice? So, oh, I love the Dreamer bags. You guys know my birthday bag sold. Like quickly. Like quick, quickly. <laughs> So twice the size of this one. It has the crossbody strap. No. Clean. It's got an open pocket on one side, zipper pocket. It's got the creed. Three one eight three three. And this is no factory bag, ladies and gentlemen. This is a beautiful dreamer bag. Wow. Two pockets on the side. They're, they have to be hands down my favorites. So, but yes, this bag, this dreamer bag... If you are interested, this little coach on the hardware and stuff, it's nice. If you're interested in this, it's 200 bucks. 
there you go. So if you're interested in this streamer, put that in there. But you will love it. It's got the little hang tag. It's got the little C. <laughs> Beautiful bag. This is a cool bag. I do have one in black that's got the suede as well. So, yeah. There we go. But there you go. Another color block. What, Ev? <laughs> So there you go. Oh, man, I forgot to put the crossbody back in there. See, I'll tell you, I'm telling you. The older I get, I'll tell you what. <laughs> so here we go. If you're interested in that, that is the last one. Of course, this is number 20. <laughs> So I will have all the prices, everything listed in the description box down below. Also with the instructions on how to get a hold of me, what have you. Don't forget, the PayPal is going bananas. Mine's not fixed yet, so they said they were working on it. So, but it works, just not your traditional invoice. I just have to, I have to request. So make sure you hit goods and services if that makes you feel better. Yeah. But I tell you guys what, please hit like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand, to a thousand subscribers so I can do more things. So, but I love you all. Please enjoy. Any questions, come on at me. No big deal. Your stuff will go out on Monday if you're interested in anything. And please, by all means, stay crazy. Mwah!